guys. The Spanish bread is ready. So today guys, we are going to bake some pandesas of bread and Spanish bread. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to active our active dry yeast first. So we need one cup of water. This is warm. And then we will add two tablespoons of white sugar. Then let's give a mix. And we will add the uh, active dry yeast to activate this one so the water should be lukewarm it should not be hot so it will be good so then we're gonna give another mix so these will incorporate the water and sugar so with this we will wait for a few minutes to activate our active dry yeast This we will cover for a while and we're gonna set aside this. We'll wait for this until it will bubble. So look at the guys, we already activated the teas. Yeah. Look at that. After 10 minutes it turns like that so beautiful i share with you guys how i how i activated my yeast guys we need three cups of bread flour we're gonna sip that we'll need to sip our flour so it will incorporate it will be good so here we are we're done sifting our bread flour. We will add the other ingredients now. Now we will add one quart cup of white sugar and one half teaspoon of salt. And let's mix together. After mixing, we will add now our Yes, the acid is at the center. Then we will give a mix again. Until it will blend together. Now, after mixing our ingredients, we will add 1 8 cup of butter. So, yeah, this is so So, I will use many. So, we can blend that together. Okay guys, we're done for kneading for 10 minutes and then we'll put some baking spray at the side. So this one, we will let it rise for about 2 hours. It's covered now, so we can sit, set aside for a while. And it's ready. Guys, we will much better if we will rinse it twice. We will rinse this one another one hour. Okay, 
sorry about that. Just the donut for fancy sun and sponge bread. So we'll make it hot. This one, we're going to move that and then we will divide that. This is our mini bungee sound. All right, this is our mini bungee sound. We're going to put it in our breadcrumbs, just like that. Then we will let it go. And then before we bake it, so let's continue. for another 30 minutes before we bake it. This is the other half of the dough. I will make this as Spanish bread. Maybe we'll make a mini Spanish bread just like that. For now, guys, we will pour in the dough. This is for Spanish bread. to hold the tip so yeah this is the edge that you can close the bread so this is for Spanish dough then we will fill the breadcrumbs with brown sugar and This is for Spanish bread. Okay, 
you go. That's the final shape. Now this is the final shape of our Spanish mudo. Yeah, this one. You're gonna shape like this for your sponge bread. So later we can roll it. And we can put some fillings later. Alright. All good. Gonna have some on the sun and Spanish red soon. I'm so excited! Yeah, I will share the recipe, guys. So feel free to make it. Okay, we will make the fillings of Spanish bread. We have a half cup of breadcrumbs and a half cup of brown sugar and then four tablespoons of butter. Then we will mix that together. Let's mix it. Yeah, as you can see the butter is soft. So we can mix it together. Yeah, just keep mixing until it will incorporate together. So our fillings is ready. So now guys, we are going to put the fillings. spread the feelings okay let's continue to spread the feelings And then here we will pinch this one to close this bread. Alright. So it's beautiful. We will bake this soon. We're gonna have a sponge bread already. Happy baking! This is a Spanish bread, so we will coat that with bread cups too. Philippine bread so I made my own bread so that's the solution of that so 
our pandesal is ready to bake. So beautiful, look at that. It's fully rising already. That's good. Look at that. Yeah, it's ready to bake. Look at the sponge right here. Ready to bake. <laughs>